Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, I talk a little bit here about glycine and um, glyc glyphosate and maybe what you can do about these issues. Uh, this is my latest book, uh, Chlorella and Spirulina, Kings of All Superfoods. And um, it took me around six months to write this, but I've been writing about spirulina and chlorella for, you know, decades now. And I'm one of the greatest experts out there on these two superfoods. And some people say, how could you write a whole book on that? You'd be surprised. Uh, not that hard. And it is available on Amazon, audible.com, so it's an audio version if you want to listen to it. And it's really good, selling pretty good. I just self-publish my books, and um, so I don't have a big marketing agency behind me and a big publisher and doing all that. Because if you were to take my book and like put it right when you walk in Barnes & Noble, it'd sell like crazy, and people get the word. Because I write really well, very well, and I write really nice books, and they're very easy to read. Now, that's what I am. I'm a writer who, who's a health guy and not a health guy who writes books. I'm a, I'm a writer who writes books, and then I happen to be a health guy as well. So I'm, I was born to be a writer. Um, but anyway, aside from that, I thought I'd talk about glycine. And why do you want to take glycine? Glycine is an amino acid. Well, that's for glyphosate. So glyph glyphosate is Roundup. Um, I call my product Roundown, okay, just to be clever. But um, so Roundup is glyphosate, and that's what... Um, you know, it gets into the body. Uh, there's a woman by the name of Doctor. She's a PhD, Doctor Stephanie Seneff, and she's written all sorts of stuff. And they they kind of try to go out and discredit her, of course, because she's she's the one who discovered that um, glycine gets into the body and um, or glyphos gly glyphosate gets into the body and um, and kind of mimics glycine. And so your body thinks it's using glycine, an amino acid, and it's not using glyphosate. So uh, this is a huge problem and leads to an amazing amount of diseases. So, um, what should you do about that? Well, um, <clears throat> you sh I would say there's a few things you can do. You should detoxify, uh, get things out of your body that don't belong there. Um, and I've done a lot of videos on detoxification. Of course, chlorella is really good for that. Uh, brown seaweed extract, which is concentrated kelp, uh, is excellent. For fulvic acid is a good one. Uh, for detoxification. I have a detox formula, um, you know, so I have all sorts of different products. And, um, but these are some of the things that will really help you with that. But, uh, so you detoxify from the Roundup and then taking glyphosate, so you flood your body with that. So, and when, you know, it's, it's there, and at least your body's actually taking in this amino acid called L-glycine, or just glycine, and, instead of glyphosate. So, that's the philosophy behind that. And I think that actually probably would work pretty good. So that's what I would use it about because Roundup, it is everywhere in our environment. I mean, that stuff is, you just can't get away from it. I made a video recently about Paraquat. That's 20, 28 times more poisonous. And that's everywhere. And especially in California, there's a lot of lawsuits leads to Parkinson's. Um, so these are really, really bad herbicides. And how we ever got these into our environment and, and, and got away from organic farming which is now it's organic, it's so special. I mean, just something that we had was normal food that wasn't sprayed with chemicals, you know, whatever, 100, 120 years ago. And now these pesticides came in the kind of the beginning of the century, so 19, 20th century. So at any rate, uh, that's how I'd get rid of it. With the, and really, if you're worried about glyphosate, you should be. Take glycine, I've been, I take a lot of it. Uh, it's got all sorts of uses in the body, but, um, that's what uh, that's what I would use for the Roundup, and to get rid of it. And my product again called Round Down. So very clever, Dr. Bob. I'll see you next time.